Oh, should we show Dave the commercial? Because I have it on here. Sure. Have you Before we start? Yeah, have you ever heard Jeff's commercial he made? No. Or actually, it was our first sponsor. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Man, I just don't know what to pick. <laughs> this is so Stress. stupid. Angry Orchard? I can't listen. I want a cider, but these just aren't hard enough. Hey, honey, you looking for a hard cider that's really going to fill you up? <laughs> Yeah, but who are you? The name's Butch Dixon. And I've got the hardest cider around. Hard Dixon cider. <laughs> Give it a taste. Mm, this is great. Told you. It comes in all kinds of flavors. Hard, harder. And my wife's favorite, she loves the hardest Dixon cider. Thanks, Butch Dixon. Anytime, honey. And if you like a fuller, creamier flavor... Try our seasonal summer malt liquor. <laughs> Thick, dark dicks inside. Also, try our new 40 ounce. Huge dicks inside. Comes with a bonus Kid Rock's greatest hit CD. You'll love hard dicks inside. I guarantee you. My name is a Butch Dixon. There it is. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Welcome back <laughs> to the gentleman. Kayla, Jeff, Sean, and our guest this week is a friend for over uh, 20 plus years of mine and Jeff's. And Kayla's known him for a decade now. <laughs> our boy. The one, the only, Asian Dave. <laughs> DP. DP, D-Pizzle. Uncle Lala. Uncle Lala. <laughs> All 400 other nicknames he's got. <laughs> he's got to keep the hoes guessing. Because you know? <laughs> oh. these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> these hoes ain't loyal, baby. What's up, dude? Welcome. How's thanks, it going? Thanks for having me. Hell yeah. We just woke you up from my couch. <laughs> said, "Let's go." Get out of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. That was. <laughs> it's been a fun weekend, so, boys. My lord! Happy Independence Day weekend. Yes. Hope everybody uh, has all their fingers still. Yep. <laughs> we uh, we've been going hard since Thursday. Yeah, it's been a it's been a bender. <laughs> That's for yeah. sure. We were gonna record on Saturday night, but uh. Uncle Lala showed up with a, a bunch of snakes and sparklers. Yeah. Yeah. Allegedly. Do you guys like them? Yeah. Well, yeah. I loved them. Cool. The I kids loved it. I have more. Yeah. Yes. Your love for fireworks is unmatched. I'm just going to put it out there. Like I said, like I said yesterday, his love for fireworks is my love for strippers with daddy issues. Hey. <laughs> Can't get enough. We all have our vices, right? So what's yeah. up, dude? How you been? Good. Living life. Living life, chilling, sleeping on the couch. <laughs> the guy on the couch. I can't believe the smell of that shit didn't uh, wake me up though. <laughs> the dogs. The dogs. <laughs> oh, oh, they they hammered yeah. one out. Yeah. They just like when we were bringing the cats upstairs, I was like, "Why does it smell like <laughs> shit?" And I turned and I was like, "God damn it!" My nose is horrible. Kayla instantly walks into a room. <laughs> what's that smell? When I, like, got I don't up, smell though, anything. When I got up, it hit me like. A yeah. Wall. Well, and it's always worse. Like when oh, you man. clean it up, like I don't, you know, you like disturb it, and so the scent just oh. like. And then plus, yeah. I brought it into the bathroom, flushed it down the. Yeah, toilet. so I carried it through the house. So I just everybody got it. everybody got taste. everybody wake up. <laughs> yeah, it was Get bad. Your shit together. You know, how would you want to wake up in the morning? To, you know, a nice smell of <laughs> lavender or something? Nope. Dog shit. <laughs> Big dog old shit. beefy pile of dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah this weekend was fun the fireworks i mean you've seen several shows yeah, what was your three, top show um box lake was the best yeah but tl was second for sure tl was really good i was surprised we had a great spot we had a too. great view yeah right for in sure. the middle of the trees yep. oh man that, we, was that was an eventful fireworks show because a poor little three-year-old got ran over by a Dude, it, shit on a moped. It reminded me of Grand Theft Auto. I'm not going to lie. I feel horrible for the kid. But this dude, it's a walkway, and he's coming barreling. I think the moped was pegged. 
oh, yeah. comes speed. flying through. Yeah, and he's like smiling, like, oh, look at me. <laughs> oh, that smile got wiped off his face real oh, quick. It did. Well, I started laughing because like it was dark. So I saw him hit something, but I thought there was just like something. A I stick don't know, like or something. Something, yeah, just laying Someone there. Someone put a stick in his spokes. Oh, that's what it happened? No, uh, so I thought he... I thought right he was going to fall from hitting something. And so it was during the fireworks. Or during the fireworks. So I started laughing because I'm like, this moron. Like, that's what you get for coming through here. And then I realized what he hit was that kid. And that's when I was like, holy shit. Yeah, it turned dark real quick. No, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know what happened right then and there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. let's be honest. Right after he drove past you and you're like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, it's probably be because he was probably looking back at you. Fuck you. No, he wasn't because <laughs> I watched him. Because as soon as I saw him, I was like, "This fucking idiot! What are you doing?" And could've, then could have been one of us. It was oh, a lot of people have. down there too. Yeah, it was packed. It was it was good. I enjoyed it a lot. We stole the best spot too. In between, we two did. Trees. We got the latest shit and just lucked out and got the best spot in the house. I know I didn't even feel bad for the people that came in behind us and sat right behind us. Oh, yeah, especially I was like, you guys me. are idiots. We were standing. Do you see lawn chairs? No, we're standing. <laughs> especially me. You got to stand up for fireworks. Walking movie screen compared to most people. Yeah. <laughs> I had to sit down, too. You sat down, stood up, sat down, danced, <laughs> sat back down. <laughs> yeah, you did. Do, we dancing. did a couple right, of a few dances. Right. After that pinch of uh, grizzly, I had to sit down. Yeah, you guys hoofed it to the gas station. We did hood rat shit yesterday. Yeah, it was, it was good. Well, since Thursday, pretty much. <laughs> no, yeah, but yesterday that was the coup de gras last night, if you will. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> coup de gras. The, no, that's extra stuff. The coup de gras is the... <laughs> I don't know. The, the, All I think about is Winnebago Man. Coup de gras. What the fuck is a coup de gras? <laughs> <laughs> If you haven't seen Winnebago Man, do yourself a favor and go look it's look that up on YouTube. As, it's almost as good as the guy selling cars in the '60s. Or like, if you want to get fucked good and hard, come down. A <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck is a Kuchamad? <laughs> <sighs> so we're a little slap happy too because lack of sleep, more alcohol than we've thrown in our faces in a in a hot minute. It's been a while. Mm-hmm. We've just been going. There That's was good. no way Kayla would have made it through three minutes last night after the fireworks and crunch wraps. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know every part of me was like, we got to do this podcast. We're all tuned up and like, I'm like, this is going to be good. And then I was like, who am I kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed. I got to go to bed. As soon as I saw Kayla gets a look on her face after uh, the right amount, like what Jeff used to get. Jeff used to get real raccoon eyed when he was hammered. <laughs> Because he'd, yeah. he'd also smoke about 30 darts. and just <laughs> Back when I was smoking, yeah. yeah. And just be completely out of it. Kayla gets to the point where it's like she teeters on ultra loving or just murderous rampage. Yeah. <laughs> and after allegedly lighting off a very large firework, <laughs> she oh, was real she was angry. Oh, we went to the gro- we went to the grocery store today, and there's a divot. <laughs> it's a divot in the cornfield. <laughs> Can't wait to see someone on their bike just. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Dude, one of the funny I, that uh, comedian Dusty Slay his stand up it was, like describes it perfectly. He's like, my best friends know when I'm drunk because when they're talking to me and I'm talking to them and they're looking at me and I'm looking you dead in the eyes and, and you know that I cannot see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true friend. <laughs> yeah. So my dad gets like that a lot where I don't think he can see me. <laughs> He's just talking. <laughs> he knows I'm there somewhere. <laughs> one eye is kind of closed. One eye is really open. He's starting to look like uncle ruckus. from the. <laughs> oh, he was on one a couple weekends ago when we had that nineties party. Ooh. And dad. Oh, <laughs> I you did you see my wheels start turning? I'm like, dad. Yeah, we refer to him I'm as like, dad. My dad didn't come to the party. I no, but the guy, the guy, the guy that doesn't know Nick and their dad. And he, he's very um, I think he went to work the next day. And the first thing he said to Josh was, what's up with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He's a lot if you don't he's know very, him. I he love starts, Nick. Dad. Dad gets uh, dad gets funny when he gets uh, oh, man. tuned up. I love partying with dad. Who's dad? <laughs> ODF. ODF. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> D- 
the reason the reason why we the reason why he we started calling him dad because we were in Vegas. He was wearing monarchs. <laughs> And he, <laughs> he looked like everybody's dad getting ready to mow the lawn. <laughs> and so I started calling like, well, so they started calling him dad. And then I just seriously started calling him dad throughout the entire trip. And at one point we lost him in the casino. And so I was yelling out. I'm like, dad, dad, has anybody seen my dad? And, and people like, are looking at Kayla like she's a special lost. needs case. So we finally see him and I'm like, dad, we'll go to find out. Uh, he didn't know that we were actually calling him dad oh. the entire trip. As we looked at him and said, dad, dad, he had no idea we were talking <laughs> to him, calling him dad. <laughs> so from now on, he this, has been, this dad. stand needs okay. some Viagra cause it's blue chew. <laughs> <laughs> this stand needs blue chew. And so do we. So blue chew reach out, <laughs> throw us some free product. Oh man. So what's new, Dave, just working, hustling. Yep. I think we did a podcast. We named it Hose Water Wop after you. We were talking about your famous garage parties <laughs> back in the day. I moved on to something new. Yeah. No we, more. Oh, you getting all your purified water? Um, <laughs> no o, more hose water. OF. OF? Only foods. Only foods. Oh. Yeah. Nice. How's that? So you're just filling the foods? You know, instead of showing pictures of, you know, pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna start an instagram and just use stuff in your face <laughs> <laughs> look at me eat this giant steak <laughs> now it's <That's> funny <laughs> dave can actually attest to the story now of how we used to make for his garage parties allegedly we would go and buy four or five bottles of hunter proof gilby's vodka ever clear or ever with ever and a bottle of Everclear, we'd always throw that in there as well, and uh, we would get two big containers of the Kool Aid mix in the you know the twist bottles. Yeah, dump both those in there, and Dave would grab the hose, <laughs> and we'd fill it up and t- <laughs> until you couldn't taste. All you could taste was the fruit punch and a little bit of the liquor. Yeah, and that's why we don't get sick. Water, <laughs> color, sugar. Yeah, and then. We we sold cups for five bucks <laughs> and let everybody drink it, except and for the people that didn't pay five dollars. No, we would at one point we'd just be like, "Here, take a cup yeah. and get rid of this," because yeah. yeah. and David and I would drink like Crown and good stuff, and we would never touch the hose water wop. How but dare you? I touched it. We would have I touched it. We, well, we, it. <laughs> we would we would have a glass just to make sure we're not gonna it? no one's gonna go blind drinking it. <laughs> Just to see. It was one of those ones where you sip it and go, okay, I can still see. (laughs) (laughs) Dave and I have had a monstrous amount of adventures in our life. Like driving home from Burlington completely not sober. I was driving, allegedly. This is this is fifteen past the statue of limitations. This is so long ago. It's too much to tell. We were driving back from Burlington, and our buddy Steve was in the back seat, and it was a blizzard, and I was driving way too fast in a shitbox Nissan. We slid off the road into a ditch. I somehow navigated us between two trees back onto the road, and we kept driving. Dave and I didn't say a word. We just started laughing as Steve's in the back seat <laughs> with <laughs> grip marks in the, in the ceiling. Screaming like a five-year-old girl. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is probably back. Remember the old cars where the the headliner would eventually start falling down. Yeah, <laughs> be sagging. <laughs> there was a lot of days like that of us just, hey, let's go to Walmart at four o'clock in the morning and talk to the girl that had facial hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hope she's not listening. She's definitely not listening to us. No, she might be. Uh, I don't think her. I don't think her trailer gets oh. <laughs> internet. Oh. <laughs> How dare you, Sean? Uh, sorry, I'm in savage mode. It's been a long weekend. It has. This is. Uh, it's been a while since we did a Sunday fun day on the podcast. Normally a Friday Saturday adventure, but we yeah. usually do it Friday because Kayla and I both get off work and we got really nothing planned. So yep. it's like let's just hammer this out, get it done. 
Well, cause, yeah, it's in the summertime, the weekend's just, I mean, something could pop up Saturday. So it's like, let's just do it Friday and get it done. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, yeah, look at Saturday. I mean, we were going to do it Saturday, but Milady had too many crunch wraps. <laughs> I had one crunch wrap. Oh, those were bomb, by the way. Oh, thank you. So Love good. It. I'll give you the recipe. Mm-hmm. Buy a Blackstone. Not a sponsor, but we would take a free one. Oh, yeah. Blackstone. I'll start doing uh, videos. There you go. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> just butt naked with a... Oh, boy. Um, with an apron? Just an apron. <laughs> We're going to have to wax your butt. Oh. No, no, no. Yo. No, no, no. We let that Chia Pet sing. <laughs> I like to feel the breeze in my hair. Oh, <laughs> you can... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wind. I feel I like the, the wind, wind in, in my hair. hair. <laughs> you let it go, honey. So I also did the announcing for the parade, which was kind of neat. I didn't think. Uh, how did you? Even, how did that even come about? My friend Meg sent me a text and said, "Hey, um, I want you to promote the podcast, and I'll help you out." So we're going to do announcing for the parade. My mom, and her mom, and I, or her mom and her, did it every. <laughs> have done it every year for like fifteen years now. Yeah, that was good. And the, the highlight for me, and I'm sorry for you Biden backers, but. The Democratic parade float is coming through, and they're, you know, vote for Biden, yay, blah, blah, blah. And a lady went to get back onto the trailer as she was walking and tripped and fell onto the trailer, and I started laughing, and I held all my faculties to keep the microphone away from my face and just say, I know why you're voting for him. Because <laughs> she Biden. ate it. She just flat face planted on the back of the trailer. No bike accidents? Oh, and I said, ooh, are you okay? Okay. Mm? All right, Dave, we'll be back. (laughs) (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sinks right there if you really need to. (laughs) Dave's Dave's been on one today. Uh, The pancakes and pizza that he had for breakfast. Yeah, that's a different. (laughs) It's a a combination right there. Pancakes and pizza. (laughs) Pancakes, pizza, white claws, claws, Bloody Marys. And shots, six shots, <clears throat> shots of vodka. It's been going down. A nap. He's done a lot. And a nap. A yeah, lot. we literally woke him up from the couch to do this podcast. Yeah, he's like, I don't want to be on. Like, just get down here. <laughs> you hear that toilet seat? <laughs> 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 uh, if you listen uh, closely, oh. you might hear pancakes and pizza. <laughs> Is that the name of this podcast? <laughs> pancakes, and pancakes. pancakes and pizza with Asian Dave. <laughs> Uh, so, so I'm glad I'm so glad when he comes into town. Oh yeah, it's it's always a good time with Dave. It's instantly a when he does time come machine. Over. Yeah, it's nostalgia. Yeah, for sure. It's a time machine, and it's all inside jokes the whole time. <laughs> Dave has an age a day in his life. No. no, which is funny because I didn't bring my ID to the thing, and I didn't think I was going to get any beer. I'm like, fuck, I didn't bring my ID. She's like, oh, you're fine with that gray beard. But you, she carded Dave. Oh. <laughs> like, he's older than all of us. That's uh, funny. I got him. Well, you weren't up there. Oh, this is true. How dare you, sir. Oh, that was, you guys, you, uh-huh. that was good. <laughs> this is true. I wasn't so there. true. <laughs> we should just do these the whole time we talk. Nope. Because we'll get flagged. <laughs> really? Yeah, because we're making fun of people. <laughs> Some people talk like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was watching TV with your daughter last night, and she oh. was, what was that show she's watching? I Dickie, Ricky, Tavi. Dickie, Ricky, Don. Dickie, and Ricky, and Don. Yeah. Nikki, Dickie, Ricky, and Don. Something like that. And the know. one girl, as they were talking about, like a pool party or something, was doing the, I bought these flares, and they were on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> and I was yep. like. And he sat there and watched it. Intently. Well, I watched it because I was tuned up <laughs> and couldn't get off the couch. I've been pulled into Bella's show Vortexes oh, on yeah. multiple occasions. I'm just sitting and then she leaves and I'm just I'm still watching it. Two episodes go by. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? It's <laughs> <laughs> bad. But watching this show. She's so funny just now. I told her she needed to go clean her room. And she's like, Can I please just watch the rest of the show and then I'll go clean my room? And so I'm like why can't you just turn it on from there? I'll be distracted. So I said, fine, finish watching this, and then go clean your room. She's like, okay. I come out, and I'm like, 
Are you still watching the same show? And she looks at me. I said, is that a new episode? And she goes, well, the other one only had five, like five seconds left to it. I mean, yeah. I'm like, oh, you she, little yeah. She makes a good shit. point. Oh, naughty. She's Told her she's naughty. grounded if she doesn't clean her room. <laughs> she goes, my floor is clean. Look at the rest of your nasty room. She's under there pushing everything under the bed. That's the problem. Also, that's how kids clean rooms. No, <laughs> you're talking you, about if you no. don't see it, it's yeah, clean. Look how clean it is. It. The one day she cleaned it in record time, I said, "Okay, something's afoot here." Did you open the closet and everything uh, fell on top of you? Yeah, pretty much. Well, and that's the thing. Like her closet, she doesn't have closet doors. But then she'll have clean clothes, and she doesn't want them to put them away, so she'll just throw them in the dirty clothes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you wonder why yeah. you're doing 47 loads of laundry a week. Yep. Like, there's no way you wore all this shit. And that's the other thing, too, is though, she, I mean, it's three, four outfits a day. And then it's two swimsuits. Oh, she's like yeah. my old roommate. Oh, and we would party. So Five wardrobe changes in the night. Yeah. Don't know why. But he, well, we, she wears them during like- the night? Remember, every time we'd have a party, he'd go downstairs, come back up with a new outfit on. Like, I don't know if he was pissing himself or puking <laughs> on himself. <laughs> or coming in his pants. Either oh, way. Boy. I think he might have been doing that. Yeah, well. Try to relax your anus. A lot of that, too? Lot, most likely. <laughs> oh. Was it just leaking and he... My guess is yes. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Kayla, did you move again? Are the dogs barking at Dave in the bathroom? <laughs> like, what's going on in there? He needs help. Oh, it looks sunny out. It's getting sunny. You know what that means? Pool? <laughs> I'm going home Shit. to do laundry and meal prep. How dare you? Because it's sunny? Yeah, because I can use the grill and not be getting hit by lightning. Oh, I was like, yeah, I don't do that. It gets nice out, and I'm like, nothing's getting done. <laughs> Yeah, when it rained, you went into full-blown, yep, house clean mode. Let's go. Vacuum was out. Yeah, it, the house needed to be cleaned, and that was a perfect time because it was shitty out. So then I could clean. Kayla's OCD kicks in when the rain comes. Mm-hmm. Yep. If it's sunny out, she's like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> oh. Live in squalor, Well, it's bitches. hard when it's sunny out because, you know, you, know, you got to enjoy it. Living in the Midwest, you got to enjoy these sunny days. This well, wind, I'm, this summer has been... It's been shit. I'm just raining. Scared shitless of the winter. If it's got this much water now, we're going to get mountains Imagine of snow. Imagine if this was snow. We're going to get mountains so of snow. So much snow. Oh. And those buzz. <laughs> it's that or the cats. Maybe the cats are fighting. Oh, my Lord. The dogs are going nuts We now. just can't win. Animal it's kingdom. all right. Can you guys yeah. subscribe so we can get a studio? <laughs> Not my shitty basement. Please. <laughs> no. The we... Dogs and cats, buttholes. <laughs> so Jesus we, Christ. So we could just get sound padding. Yeah, something. Our, our studio is great. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, it's nice. I like it. It's very quaint. It's, it's just. Uh, I feel claustrophobic sometimes. It's just this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here's Bella. Shut up. There's the champion that we all oh, deserve. Yeah. It sucks, man, because the dogs, there's no sleeping in anymore in this house because it like clockwork at eight o'clock. They're at the gate barking and whimpering, just yelling, shut up. And then you just finally have to get up. Can't sleep in in this house. I don't know what to tell you. It's not my fault. I know it's not your Uh, fault, honey. I think it's 100% your fault. I think they were used to going out early in the morning. So what was your favorite part of the weekend? With the fireworks. I like that he changed the subject. What? Uh, yeah. Yesterday was probably my favorite. I Well, I don't know. Fourth of July was good. Yeah, we had pool day all day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which was hilarious. Like, it was no, there was no sun, but I'm like, I'm putting on sunscreen just in case because I'm fair complected. <laughs> what is that? So many things happening. I, and I, uh, I burn like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> And, and good buddy Josh was like, oh, I don't need sunscreen. I'll be fine. <laughs> and he was redder than the devil's dick. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Lobster boy. Jen sent me those pictures, and I was like, oh, man. He like, was like He was a hyper-colored T-shirt. You would touch his arm, and you'd go back to white, then instantly back to red. It was very fast. Can we show that to Aaron and prove him wrong then? Because it was cloudy all day, and he got burnt to shit. 
He doesn't believe that you get more tan when it's cloudy out. It's UV rays. It doesn't matter about the sun. Yeah. Right. And most of the, the time UV people rays think are stronger. Most of the time people think that you're not going to get burnt because there's no sun, but the sun still comes through. So that's why people usually get sunburnt when it's cloudy. Probably because they don't put shit on because they don't believe. Well, the that's, that's what I right. That's what I just said. Yeah. Well, that and three um, hours uh, in yes, the pool. I am acknowledging you don't how listen. right you are, honey. That and three hours in the pool where the sun yes. is just reflecting off there. Like, mm. I know I got sun because my face is tighter than a nun's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty tight. That's just super it's tight. airtight. <laughs> like a dolphin's butt. Water is it, tight. Is it? <laughs> what? A nun's butthole? I don't know what they do in their hey, bedrooms. Do you know what kind of meat a priest eats on a Sunday? <laughs> mm. I don't know. None. <laughs> 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 that's so stupid it's funny <laughs> that's a good one it, 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 it hits me in the old giggle basket <laughs> oh um, i had a good time it yeah. was nice because it was only a three-day work week for me at least yeah not for me <laughs> <laughs> i took off wednesday and friday so that was nice you you earned your two days extra days off though yeah because you had to work all weekend last weekend yeah saturday and sunday Jeez, full Louise. days man that lady was not messing around that was cool but you know on the other side is at least there is people that give a shit when it comes to that field healthcare yeah people are gonna stop giving a shit because <laughs> kayla's gonna come in with a spiked bat <laughs> just be like what <laughs> who called no who called no oh oh you like dinner well, you don't get it for a week. Enjoy your breakfasts. I didn't Enjoy mean Enjoy your in pancakes that and pizza. <laughs> I meant less people are getting into healthcare because the system's all fucked. But yeah, was it that's like, a depressing thing. So yeah. I won't go there. We move on. This is fucking depressing. Right there, you go. You're I'm welcome. On. <laughs> move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Wednesday was one of those days though that just didn't want to end. Yeah, because it knew. Well, because I, I was like, you know, when you get to work, you punch in, you look at the clock, and you've been there for somehow less time than you were when you first punched in. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the clock went backwards 20 minutes somehow. Yeah. Like, Those what days the fuck suck. is going on? And, but then, you know, one o'clock hits, and I'm like, all right, two hours, here we go. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. get my lunch, come back, got an hour and a half left to work. Yeah. Last half hour, once again, time starts going backwards. These yep. are the days of our lives. Yes, but I feel fulfilled in life. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that was a good lie, Me huh? too. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. No, I can't complain. I'm off not next week, but the week after, so I'm all right with that. Nice. Nice little mental health break. There you go. Which just means mm. I will be over here at 8 o'clock in the morning to film content with Jeff while you're at work. Um. If Jeff is still here during the day in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to choke all of you. So, Yeah, anyone out there hiring, you let me know. These <laughs> shoes ain't paying the bills. But you know what you should do? Yeah. You should go to uh, w.gg and use the code TGDPOD. Get 10% off all your orders. And also, go to Kicks and Canvas underscore 223 on Instagram. Shoot Jeff a DM. Buy some shoes, some sneakers for you sneaker heads. <laughs> uh oh. He's going to go lay on the couch for a while. That's fine. Nice cold couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's been a weekend, bro. We love you. It's all right. You got, you got, you got your five minutes of fame, baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> For those who didn't hear that, he said the pizza tastes better on the way down. Oh, it it, it, it wasn't the ecstasy; it was the egg rolls. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a day. It's been a weekend. It has been a oh, last couple days, man. It's been a but long. I hope everybody else's weekend was just as good because there's nothing better than celebrating your country's birth by getting completely wasted and watching things get blown up. Good times. It is amazing. As the fireworks were going off, I was like, this is fucking rad, dude. It's just fucking cool. Just celebrating our independence, just blowing shit off. 
When was the fourth? Fucking Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. I seen a great meme on Wednesday. It was like, uh, have fun at work tomorrow, England. <laughs> 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 just so Jesus. stupid, but I fucking laughed my ass off. I'm not gonna lie, I saw a preview for uh, a George Washington live, like documentary style type movie, mm-hmm. like someone's playing like a young George Washington, and all I thought was the Shane Gillis thing. If, yeah. that, if that guy's not going, yeah, <laughs> running around the woods with tax me, motherfucker, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> going across the Delaware the, on Christmas. <laughs> no, it's, oh, it's George. <laughs> oh. <laughs> back in a musket. Oh, my God. Can you imagine fighting back in the day? A 6'2 redhead. <laughs> it's a got, giant back then. He got rabies-like symptoms because yeah. he had lead in his mouth. And you try to pack a musket. <laughs> and he's just <laughs> hatcheting you to death. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Oh, boy, America. He was a redhead? Yeah. How did I not know that? Because they wore wigs once they got into That's uh, wild. office. Yeah, the <laughs> big wigs. That's where that term comes from. Yes. Thank you. Well, people in power, they wore wigs. Yeah, it makes Documented. Sense. Which, why would you take that from England? Like, everybody in Parliament always had the big white wigs that... I'm pretty sure... I don't know. I'm pretty sure in Canada, like the judges and stuff, yeah, don't they wear, still wear wigs? Yeah. Like when you go to court and shit? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> the Supreme Court, their they're like version of the Supreme Court. Yeah. I would not be able to like keep a straight. Can you imagine being in court? <laughs> the judge just has this big ass wig on. You're being charged with stealing all the maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be able to stop laughing. You took all the ketchup for, ketchup chips from the store without paying for them. <laughs> Is that how they talk too? Ketchup sticks? Chips. Oh. They have ketchup flavored chips in Canada. Ew. They're massive. They're Why? Like, there's two flavors that are like their number one seller, and it's ketchup and all dressed. All dressed? What's that? All like dre- an everything bagel? Kind of, yeah. They taste similar to like a barbecue chip. Oh, it's a chip that's all dressed? Yeah. <laughs> it has a suit and tie. <laughs> and a wig. And a wig. Do they have casual chips? Or no, 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 have... no. No casual. <laughs> Business casual <laughs> chips? <laughs> and uh, do you know what they call macaroni and cheese in Canada? Cheesy noodles? I don't know. They call it craft dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Get out that craft dinner. Craft it in um, <laughs> peanut butter. They have a smooth cremeau. <laughs> smooth cremeau? Yeah. Sucle bien. Yeah. A smooth cremeau. Oh, so get a so cool cremeau. I, I, random bits of stupid, useless I knowledge. I think that's French, right? Aren't they yes. French Canadians? Yeah. Smooth cremeau. What's a French Canadian? Oh, I can't. Someone who's French from Canada? No, it's... um. Oh, sacre bio, grab me that smooth cream. Quebec. I'm going to put it on my penis and let my dog suck on it for a while. <laughs> Quebec is uh, all French speaking. So, like, if you go to Montreal, you you stupid Americans <laughs> speak of the French. <laughs> I'm still just picturing a chip with a tie. <laughs> a nice bow tie. All dressed. And why ketchup flavor? A chip chips? that says I'm casual, but I'm here to party. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like a mullet. Yeah. <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. They should have a chip that's plain on one side and then has all the seasoning on the back. That would be a mullet <laughs> chip. Round two. <laughs> Dave's hurting. I thought we were gonna party today. I did I didn't realize Dave is a bulimic. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think you look so young? <laughs> Holds it together by just Oh, I ate pizza. Better get rid of this real quick. <laughs> it couldn't possibly be the multiple shots of vodka. I know he polished that bottle. Well, we've been helping him. But he. But I mean, it's, it's pretty well gone. It's so, well gone. a little story of our buddy Dave <laughs> is uh, we invited him, or Jeff invited him to a pool party at <laughs> noon. He showed up at six. Six yep. o'clock to a pool party. And decided. Boy, I better catch up. So I'm going to pour 42 shots of vodka for everybody. 
because they were just not. As soon as he showed up, it was just shots, shot, shot. You want another one? Shot. I'm like Jesus, bro. I mean, it's a, it's I've been drinking since I got up. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon, baby boy. What are we doing? <laughs> it's coming out of my back end. Oh. It could be the front. I'm just gonna stay like this. Boy, yeah. So obviously, <laughs> most of the people were listening to this on their way to work on Monday are gonna have the same problems that we all have right now. Yeah, I think so. Which is battling the hangover and uh, bubble guts. I'm afraid yeah. to take my hoodie down. Oh, and- I think I. That crunch wrap came up in my mouth this morning. Oh God! Well, it was a country, it, honestly, it was a crunch wrap and a half. Yeah, it was a lot. And he got Jeff got angry at me. Why? So I'm like, dude, I just ate a full one. I'm full. He's like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, fine, give it to me, asshole. Eat and, it. And well, like, I knew you were still hungry. I wasn't. <laughs> Yes, you were. I was not, sir. I was eating it, and I was just like, right. "The way you Please finished stop. it, I, I'm like, I'm swallowing it. It's not going down. It's just <laughs> sitting in the back of my throat, waiting, just chewing on it. Oh, it's, it's like the train is going by, and you're just sitting there waiting. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good bloody, babe. Shout out to you. You make a good Thanks. bloody. Thanks. Kayla crushing the bloodies today. They mm-hmm. they helped out. There's a dog down immensely. Here. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm gonna go shit on the bed. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, I'll beat him. Yeah, you, right there, sir. Here, grab a seat. We got an open chair. Come Logan. on, come here, come here, Logan. Come on, Logan. You can join the podcast. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Look at he's like I don't even know. He goes, oh, they're filming. I don't like it. Ca- I'm not getting on camera. No one wants to see my butthole. Logan, I just want him to come sit in this chair. <sighs> so many meats. <laughs> Oh, here he comes. How much meat did we eat? Come on, handsome oh, boy. boy. We we went all American. We had brats, hot dogs, burgers. Fireworks. Beef Fireworks. Tips. Come here. Beef tips, scrimps. Come here. And the blades at the top of the oh, stairs. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Bella, get him upstairs, please. Oh, I was going to put him on the chair. He won't stay. He's going to pee or poop down here. He's That's a baby. Fair. He's a baby boy. Oh, there he goes. There he goes to, to eat litter box. shit out of the litter box. <laughs> <laughs> Snack time in the basement. Don't don't let Dave see that. He'll go for round three. <laughs> Have Logan give him a nice kiss. <laughs> right on the mouth. <laughs> Ooh, I, almost... I do miss our town. Used to do the uh, Liberty Fest. It was the four day festival with the tents and the games for the kids. I like the setup now. It's nice, just down by the beach, and well, it's all fun. I don't trust any uh, carnies anymore. Because of uh, any time I watch the news now, it's some poor little kid getting ejected off of a ride. Yeah. yeah. Or getting stuck upside down for three hours. I saw that one. Fuck that. Sure. Yes. One of those. Uh, isn't it the one that like. It's the, the, <laughs> the spins. <laughs> She's trying to wrangle the dog. It's Here not it happening. Logan, what are you doing? Come on. Oh. Oh he's, gonna, oh, he's pulling my microphone. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. He's sitting down. This podcast is going off the rails. It always does, <laughs> let's be honest. We have never once had a podcast stay on the rails. No, and I wouldn't want it no. any other way. Oh, Logan, he's on my come cord. Here. Logan, he's sitting down. Yeah, he is. <sighs> come on, so. dude. Come here. Oh, wrong one. My bad. <laughs> it's not the hot two, it's the hole. 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 Dave, Dave's right That's now. That's the one you want, right? Yeah. Uh, Do you want the hawk to or the hawk? Hang on, real quick. Bella, get upstairs with him. Please. <laughs> God, what's happening? I don't know. <laughs> She's trying to get him. He's not moving. Oh, careful, Bella. Kayla, if you want to do the two-second runoff and uh, get him to follow you upstairs, he will. Yeah. What? We'll hold down the floor. follow Jeff. Or Jeff can go. Oh, okay. I don't know that he will follow me. All right, you guys talk. I'll be right back. That's oh, fine. I'll, all right, Kayla's I'll good. I'll try. He's a bit. I'll try. He's only a boy. Oh, oh God. what are you doing? What? Come on, Logan. Logan, come, come on. on. There he goes. He loves his, he's a mama's boy. He is. He is very much so a mama's boy. That's 
I can't believe it. I, I'm surprised right now. I am too. The way he's, he partied all night last night, not a blip. It had to have been the pancakes and pizza. That's a lot of carbs. It's a lot. Well, I mean, the Bloody Mary and then the 15 oh. shots and all the White Claws. I mean, he did. we did wake him up from a nap. So I th- maybe we did this. <laughs> maybe we did. <laughs> ah, it oh, happens. Fuck. You know, unfortunately, we tend to, uh, when it's go time, it's go time. Yep, there's no brakes on this fucking vehicle. No. Well, and once we start going downhill, we do this for for <laughs> y'all. We we want to we want to make sure your commute is so much fun. Yeah, maybe right now you're thinking about how much fun you had this weekend while this thing is while you're sweating rolling downhill. While you're just <laughs> sitting sweating and cursing <laughs> cursing your liver for not processing all your stuff as fast as it should be. Yeah. Do it this morning when I was cleaning. When you guys got back from the store, I looked at Jeff and I was like, "I'm sweating so bad." <laughs> I was like, "I don't even know why." Like, I was just sweating. It's hot and sweaty. I got like that yesterday. Well, it was 68 degrees in this house. There was no reason I should have been sweating. I made the that, mistake yeah. today of wearing a wool hat. Mm-hmm. Oh. I I took it off, and I felt the sweat just go from the top of my head and just <laughs> run down. Like oh, I was, as soon as you took it off. Yeah, like I was wearing a shower cap full of water. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's refreshing. And I'm like, oh, that's a lot of sweat. <laughs> that's a lot of sweat. And, yep, that's vodka. <laughs> <laughs> you just put it right back in? Yeah, just keep the, <laughs> keep the train rolling. Let me just wipe this rag and wring it out. <sighs> not saying I've done it before, but, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh desperate times desperate. call for desperate measures. Yes. Play. <laughs> Yuck. Gross. We can just act like Dave's still here. <laughs> Dave, he just doesn't you? talk much for he's the very, listeners. He's, he's shy. He's camera shy. <laughs> he's actually under the table right yeah. now, sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, his hands are cold. Dave, you okay? <laughs> he's fine. Oh, well, we'll have God. to have Dave back on when he's <laughs> able to function a little bit better. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh, I know what it is. The Zinski. Oh. He popped two of them in. That could be it. And he just ran through. Yeah. He went f- and he, he was, well, last night he bought that tin of Grizzly. And he was like, we were halfway back and I didn't notice, but he already <laughs> got rid of it as soon as he put it in. Oh, really? Because it turned him up to 11. Like, we were fine. It on the does, way. man. I have never, I. I feel like I can't get as drunk as I used to because I would just, I'd smoke cigarettes and just drink and just be hammered. I don't get like that anymore. And I think it's because I don't smoke. It's 100% because you It takes you, don't you smoke. to another level. Because I, I told you when you stopped smoking and we went out drinking and you, and you just looked at me like, I'm not getting as drunk as I normally do. And we were doing shots and shots and shots. Yeah, and, and I honestly think it was the, the cigarettes. And I'm sure with the pouches, it's even fucking worse if you're doing a, Actual dip. I mean, the Zins, the Zins kick it up probably a little bit. They you turn, get a little buzz from it, but. And I only do threes. I'm not a. You, you put know, three in your mouth no, at a time? No. Three. <laughs> Just lined entirely. The, the nicotine contents oh, are three. Okay, so those do have different. There's three and six. Nicotines. There's oh. there's one out there that's 12. Like, I got nothing to prove. I ain't trying to throw up as soon as that hits my bloodstream. So the Zins have 12? No, Two? it's a different company. Okay. There's there's like a bunch of these pouch companies. The Two Bears, One Cave guys got ones from Russia <laughs> that they put them in. <laughs> and you watch them, and all of a sudden, this, you see the sweat beads start building up, and, and, and Tom Segura goes, man, I got to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Bert goes, I do too. These are really strong. That could be the new diet. Oh, well, that's, you know, it helps. Yeah. Like, you know, when you have a smoke, then all of a sudden you're like, hey, I'm going to go ruin a, the porcelain. I'm going to go chip some porcelain real quick. Yeah, because something about smoking just relaxes you. Does it? Yeah, it relaxes your anus. <laughs> Beat me to it. Try to relax your anus. I think it does. What is coffee? Is it co- does coffee just relax you? How does, how does coffee work? Yeah, I don't co- drink coffee. Yeah, coffee's a diuretic. Because everyone shits. They say they shit when they drink coffee. 
Like they shit. Like they if drink you, coffee. I don't, and not shit. if I drink like plain black coffee. It's I'm fine. Maybe you really? got I thought dairy that was like allergy. Oh, probably. Well, Bella. So when Bella was little. We got her tested, um, and she is allergic to whey protein. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming I probably have the same issue. Yeah, I um <laughs> I don't trust milk because I have I love I milk. have a minor lactose intolerance. Like if I crack a gallon of milk and drink a couple cups, I'm fine. But for some reason, if it sits in my fridge for two days, I drink a glass and I'm violently huh. putting a seatbelt on because I'm going to hit the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, it's rocket fuel. <laughs> it's rough. Huh. I can eat a whole pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, be fine. Yeah. I have two scoops of Briars. <laughs> I'm empty. Game over. Yeah. That's it's crazy. But what is it about coffee? You're just Well, it's a, di- it, it's a diuretic and it uh, the caffeine speeds up. The metabolism a little bit, and so it's poop time. Yeah, I think too. It's what, like what you put in your coffee, though, too. Because like I, said, I just drink like, black. I don't. I, well, I used to. I haven't been on I caffeine don't. now for a month. Nice. I mean, besides one or two energy drinks here. Well, how were the headaches? Uh, so how I weaned myself off was I'd get to work, I'd go and get a cup of our wonderful Folgers out of the giant coffee thing throw some ice in it because it's those fucking bubblers for you know the old school giant metal coffee Mm -hmm. pots Mm -hmm. it comes out of there like fucking lava i don't know how it's not eating through the paper cups how hot it is it's like fucking (laughs) bubbling as it's in your cup so i throw some ice in it and cool just to cool it down well what i started doing was i'd add a little more ice and more and slowly wean down the caffeine and then i was just like i don't need it i'm not going to I eat a banana and a. I eat a banana. I eat a banana and a cutie and my mama. get on with my day. And then by about ten o'clock, I'm doing one of these because I'm so angry that I need to throw in a lip pillow just to bring me back down. Yeah, and then you go take your. That, well, no, that's vacation. that's after the that's after the banana in the in the morning. I, <laughs> I my my body's on a time clock now. Five ten. So I know make a where dollar, you be. make a dime. Yep. Why you so poop I poop on company time, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Get paid to shit. There's nothing more American than getting paid to shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I saw the what was it the meme the other day? It was like, who's the first man to discover milk? <laughs> <laughs> but he got looked at real weird. <laughs> It's like, yeah, the first man who just. Oh man, you gotta try this. Trying to explain. Like, oh my god, this is really good. Where'd you get this from? Well, I just jerked off that cow. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a cow. We have a bull. <laughs> you know how sick people were getting mm. from just drinking straight from the cow. Well, yeah, it's the, not good for you. The before so, our buddy Louis Pasteur came yeah, in and learned how it. to pasteurize milk. Yeah, it's not good for you. Actually, you know, you know what milk I can drink. What is that Titty fair milk? life? Titty milk. <laughs> fair life milk is it's the you know Isn't that like the lactose intolerant milk? No, or is that the that's all, oh the fair life is like the blue the blue uh, yeah yeah because that one they don't do as much they do I don't know what they do it's the cows are all like taken care of well and they're massaging them and ooh it's the wagyu cows mm-hmm. it might be drinking some that's why it's like. Ten bucks a gallon. Yeah, it's the way goo cows. That's the way that, that way goo meat. Um, if there is no better chocolate milk than Oberweiss chocolate milk, and I'll stand on that till I die. Better than Yuhu. Yuhu. Yuhu's, Yuhu's not. <laughs> Yuhu is Ew. chocolate water. <laughs> chocolate. For real, it's disgusting. I love Yuhu. I like Yuhu. No, but I do like a thick chocolate milk. Yuhu is. It, you are right. It's a little bit more watered down. Well, it's not I like a it's, thick. It's not in milk. the refrigerated section, so it's not dairy. It's literally chocolate water. It's basically it's, it's like some mixing other... Nesquik with water instead of milk instead of, in yes. some other chemicals. Because <laughs> yeah. you can mix like the protein with milk instead of water, and it's just not the same. I like I like it better with milk. Yeah, the I, protein, but I'll hundred percent. But you're also getting more if you mix it with you're getting more <sighs> protein if you mix your protein shake with milk because there's protein and milk right there's also a lot of carbs so i was doing them with water and it's 
Yeah. Not it's great. like Yoohoo instead it's of chocolate fine. milk. Yes. It's fine. It's just not great. No, but Overwise chocolate milk, when you it's pour delicious. it, it's so thick. So good. Oh, yeah. You like almost got to hit it like a ketchup bottle yeah. to get it out. <laughs> how thick it is. shaking it. I think we should make chocolate ice cream with Yoohoo chocolate milk. Chocolate Yoo-hoo? Ice. Or not you who uh, Oberweiss. Oh. I was Just like, mix Ugh. them together? What, what about, about a chocolate milk float? Has that ever been done? I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it's called a shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not blended together. Have you ever done a chocolate milk float? I'm, I'm all right, now my wheels are turning. Well, come I want to go get ice cream now. I had ice cream yesterday. I want ice cream now. We don't have ice cream? No. I don't think so. Shit, we don't milk. have milk either. <laughs> That's the one thing. Uh, no, we don't. I love about the summer is the soft serve ice cream, the mm-hmm. twist cones. Mm. Just a plain twist cone. Yeah, you had one last night, right? Yep. And I can. Him and the kiddos. Yeah, I, Uncle Sean went into full Uncle Sean. You did. Or, you were full. Bought, bought everybody ice cream. Bought Bella a light up cowboy oh, hat. I, that was nice. the funniest thing. She's like, "I want that hat." And I'm like, "Okay, well, then buy it." Yeah, I don't want to buy it. I said, well, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> so Uncle she, Sean did. <laughs> she came over and she said, I, I like those cowboy hats. I go, all right, well, how much are they? 15 bucks? I'm like, all right, that's not horrible. It's, I mean, it's an LED hat. You got to pay for that battery. Batteries ain't cheap. No, that's probably the most of it. And then she's like, I'm like, all right, let's go get it. And she's like, no, my mom told me I couldn't have one. I'm like, your mom's standing in a 45-minute line to go take a leak. Go get the hat. What's she going to do? Yell at you? Well, we didn't nope. say she couldn't have one. We just said we weren't paying for it. Well, she said... You, you could so have it. So she suckered Uncle Sean into yeah. it. Well, like I said, you get you get one day a year. The boys got ice cream cones, and Bella got an ice cream cone and a hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That she did. And well. Ellis. I, got, I bought Ellis's, too. Oh. Who only had chocolate, which I was like, I get it, dude. You'll learn. Likes the chocolate. The twist cones. Well, why? Uh, the, yeah, the twist cones. It's better. The, the way to go. It cuts. It cuts the chocolate down because the chocolate's usually overpowering, and the vanilla is just just adds a little to the vanilla. Yeah, the vanilla is bland. Yep. I love a twist cone. I used to love them with the uh, crunch, crunch coat, with a little. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, when they dip it in the chocolate. No, no, no. The it's the um, like nuts and all the other stuff. Okay, but like, it's like a caramel candied. apple pop type, or but, caramel apple type no, deal? No, it's, uh, it's like roasted nuts and sprinkles and all the other stuff in there. Mm. It's like candied nuts, I should say. I'm sorry, candied. So, yeah, more sugar. <laughs> exactly what you need. Yes, yes. <laughs> What's your go-to ice cream? What's your favorite? Like, if I'm out or I'm at the grocery store. Like if I if there's like an like if there's grocery like a, store is grocery, kinda... I'm a Ben and Jerry's guy. I've always been a Ben. And Jerry's What's your guy. flavor though? Um, depending on the week, I am an old school Ben and Jerry's guy. So I like the Cherry Garcia, which is the cherry ice cream with the chocolate fudge chunks and the big chunks of cherries. Cherry. Oh. Or I like the cho- the Chunky Monkey, which is a banana flavored ice cream with walnuts and chocolate pizzas. Ooh, it's very nice. I like the Americone Dream. Americone Dream is very good because I love chocolate waffle cones. You are a waffle fanatic, and, <laughs> unless it's unless it's a Belgian waffle. Yeah, I take never, that shit back. I have never heard someone say, "Is one of those fucking Belgian waffles?" <laughs> Fuck that! I don't want that. But if they Why? had four, if they had fourteen it egos just back tastes, there, I don't know what it is. It's the malt. It tastes different. It's oh. it's a Belgian waffle is more of a malty flavor than the like as in malt, not like malt, and not not M U L T I. I used to show up at I hop at three in the morning. Say, give me the biggest waffle you got. And it was always a Belgian waffle, and he would be angry eating it. <sighs> like you did, it. yeah, you didn't learn your lesson. You just kept. And going you went back. to International House of Pancakes for a waffle. For a waffle, I did. I fuck. I should have known right there. It's like going to McDonald's and ordering a Whopper or a taco. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, a, a burger and burger in the same category, like. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Remember when McDonald's had all that weird shit? They'd have like pizza. Like they try shit nonstop. Good salute to them. You know, you got to. When did they have pizza? You got to take a swing if Before you want to hit some you dingers. Can walk. <laughs> okay. 
McDonald's. I miss the old McDonald's. You know what sucks is all these restaurants. I miss the old restaurants as when we were kids. Like I walk into a Taco Bell now and I'm like sad. I want to see the teal and the purple and the fucking the well, old McDonald's. I want to walk in there. I want to see fucking Ronald and Grimace and the weird <laughs> fucking shit on the wall. In the play <laughs> place. Yes. Where those balls Every are place the looks like a fucking in history. It, like they all uh-huh. look like fucking coffee shops and it makes me sad. I've said this a million times. McDonald's used to be a place that kids wanted to go. And then your parents would get something while they're there. Let's go with the kids. But now it is the opposite. Like the parents want to go there and then they just get something for their kids. They got fireplaces and shit, marble. Like what, where are we right now? Are we getting a $2 cheeseburger? This place. I mean, we used to have a Hardee's in town that had a play area that was, oh boy. The ball pit? That ball pit. If it could talk. It would have AIDS. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least hepatitis. <laughs> that fucking ball pit. That's probably why we don't get sick. Hoses and fucking oh, dirty ball pits. Ho- drinking from hoses, dirty ball pits. Being in the woods, getting bit by everything under the sun. All kinds of poison ivy and oak. Right. Yeah. Jesus. And w- as as men, I think I figured it out. Because we were talking about the machine gun noises. Like, we would... What would we do as kids? We'd find a stick and we would just, it's a gun. It, it would turn like, into a machine gun. Like we, we've we grown up our entire lives making machine gun noises. Mm-hmm. When's it, Was that the first time you ever made a machine gun noise was on the podcast last week? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Have you ever, ever made a machine a, gun noise? And, have you ever picked up a stick and went? No, I don't think so. I got you. You're dead. <laughs> oh, I shot you. No, you missed. Maybe that's what. We solved it. We solved the. We solved the reason why kids are school shooters now. Why? Because they, they never guns. played guns in the woods. Not anymore. They don't go. No, outside. they're just shooting fake people on TV. So that's what they portray mm. is going to happen in real life. They've they never shot each other it. with bottle rockets or oh <laughs> Roman candles. Can't Roman candles. I was so nervous the boys were going to shoot each other yesterday with those. That's the first thing they asked when we gave them to them. Can we shoot each other? <laughs> I said no. They, they have, they got, they got some feral oh. in there. Oh yeah, a yes, lot of do. feral. They just got to get it out of them. Once we get them out of their room, watching them run down the street last night, like as mad as I was, <laughs> I was dying laughing watching all of you guys just come barreling back towards the oh, house. Oh, there wasn't Boom. a very long run from Jeff or I. No, we we ran for about 20 feet, and then it was a slow jog. Because then we turned around because we didn't hear anything, and we watched. I wanted to see it. I mean, it, I felt it in my chest for sure. It was so Allegedly, we lit off a half wild. stick. You no, it wasn't. Not. It was a... Um, it was a boomstick. It was a boomstick. A boomstick. Yeah. We'll go with that. It was a boomstick. For America. Kayla, didn't you hear the bald eagle's call after we lit that thing <laughs> off? Actually, no, I was listening for fucking sirens. <laughs> they were all at Main Street. We didn't have to worry about them. They were there. That was weird. Hmm? Uh, I should probably call B and see uh, what happened at Main Street. Why call B and C and ask them about A. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? They um, were cop cars. When I brought Dave to go get the cake... Last night. At Maine? Yeah, there oh. were two, three squad cars. I don't know. I tried to keep my eyes straight at that point. Just keep driving home. Well, you went and got the... You were all about it. You drove him to get I these fireworks. Get... And then we were lighting them off, and you're like, the neighbors. Well, I didn't realize how... You didn't realize who you were in the car with taking him to get... Where he was... Th- he told us 44 oh, times, yeah. I spent $350 what? <laughs> Three hundred fifty dollars on these fucking fireworks. Let's go. I want to show the kids a good time. It was nothing to do with the kids. It was Dave going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's the kids them. did enjoy it though. Oh, dude, they oh, loved they it. They were the time. fireworks lighters the whole time. Yeah, I felt bad as a parent because probably should have been my job. Not but, a, they're uh, they, the ones that they the ones that they were lighting were fine, and they were being they weren't being stupid. Yeah, we didn't let them light the the boomstick or whatever it was i would hope not oh no 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 they weren't they were just there for the ride we, <laughs> we just we just looked at them and they're like 
I'll go do some hood rat shit. Mm-hmm. And they said, hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. They, they were all for it. They're like, yay. Oh, yeah, they were giddy. It runs in their blood. They don't get excited about a lot of things outside, but fireworks, that gets them excited. It was hilarious, too. When, when it lit, they took off. They were <laughs> gone. <laughs> I turned and looked, and they were already halfway down the street by the oh, time it shit. got out of Dave's hand. Yeah, yeah, I hope a bear never comes. <laughs> the old thing, I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to well, outrun you. <laughs> oh, I'm the one getting mauled. It's, it's either play dead or try to be bigger than the bear. That thing's just going to run through me and mm-hmm. eat me butthole first. Because <laughs> that's what they do. That's weird. You know that? No, that's they, weird. They eat you while you're alive. Butthole first. Oh, well, I was going to say that eating alive, I mean, that would make sense. I mean... So Grizzly Man but, got it the worst. But yeah, because cats hurts. will kill you. Cats will snap your neck and then start yeah. eating you. Not bears. They, they like shit. you. They like you screaming. I thought the wolves ate your ass first. That's so weird. Pretty sure wolves eat your ass. Hey, you know, there's a lot of girls out there. <laughs> what the wolf, fuck? wolf DNA. <laughs> I identify as a wolf. <laughs> You think those furries are eating ass? You bet your ass they are. <laughs> bet oh, your sweet hairy ass. I gotta show you the video. I gotta see if I can oh, find man. it again. It was talking about furries and <laughs> furries are probably thank you for not shaving your ass. Like, oh, he's natural. Gross. Oh. <laughs> I like this guy. That's Take a perfect. <laughs> We're at an hour. We can end this one on that. What? Well, I want to. I want to dive deep into this though. Do you oh. know? <laughs> we gotta get the kids from work here soon. All right. I know. So do a service. Go out there. Start eating ass. And then when you're done, howl at the moon. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna Just like our ancestors did. Uh, <laughs> Your great, 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 great grandmother. Ate, ate someone's hairy the ass. The old rusty trombone. Yep. They lit a campfire and they all ate each other's ass and then they oh god. At the <laughs> then they humped like stone <laughs> test bunnies. <laughs> Bomb. All right. Bomb. How fabulous. Uh, before we end this once again, go to w.gg. <laughs> use the code TGDPod for ten percent off all your energy drink needs. If you are looking for a custom sneaker. Boot, hat, I don't know. If you want him to paint you a... Chastity belt. Chastity belt. If you want him to paint you a picture of your cat... Eating someone's ass. Eat some, do it. If you want a picture of a wolf <laughs> eating a lion's butthole, <laughs> go to <laughs> kicks and canvas <laughs> underscore 223 on Instagram and uh, send him a DM and he'll price it out for you. Mm-hmm. And then also go to Small Town Infamous on Instagram for... Uh, you remembered it this time. <laughs> for the link to my shop where I have a bunch of shirts. In two weeks, we'll be putting up new Gentleman's Den merch because I'll have time to make some, and so will Jeff. Yes. And that will go up on... Hopefully not, but yes. Well, <laughs> until he doesn't have free time, he'll have free time. Yeah. Oh, also one thing we did too is we fixed the pool pump. We did. I'm You did. MacGyver. <laughs> I was a little scared. Oh, uh, the the despair in your face. I when, was so worried. When you flicked that switch and you just went mm, mm, fuck. <laughs> just the look on his face was just Oh no. no! I broke. I got no money and no pool now. <laughs> <laughs> then I, then I said, "We should just start charging people to use the pool." Yeah, I'm gonna have to. By you the want, hour, you it's want a, a warm pool, people. Yep. Twenty dollar a limb. In my hand. You want to put a foot foot in? That's fine. Twenty bucks. People, a whole body. It's a hundred. People, people pay. You know, throwing on the fights. You can start throwing in on the pool. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> With that being said, that brings us to the end of another fun-filled episode of the Gentleman's Dad. I want to thank Dave for coming on. I do want to thank Dave for coming on. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. He made it. Love you, Dave. He made, he made it 20 minutes. It was a battle. We saw it. 
he'll be back. Fighting demons, man. Yes. Long weekend, like I said. For Kayla, for Jeff, I am Sean. Thanks again for tuning in. We will see you next week for another fun filled episode of <gasps> The Gentleman's Den. Thanks. <laughs>